It's a very historical place if, if you like Western history. At one time, this town was the biggest city between El Paso and San Francisco. Phoenix, Tucson, Los Angeles, they were just, we had 15,000 people living here. And then we have lots of shops and the signs above the buildings, some of them tell you what was originally there. The, the Crystal Palace, for example, has been restored. So that's what it looked like before it burned down. Tombstone had two big fires, so a lot of these buildings are not original. They were all replaced back in 1880s, 1890s, but they're not the first ones up. But the Birdcage Theater is. I've been here for about 10 years. We came out here, and there's something about this place. Now this is a world famous Birdcage Theater. It's actually the only building on this street right here that hasn't been rebuilt, restored, remodeled or recreated. This prime, it was an opera house, a saloon, a gambling casino, and a house of Bill Fang. A one-stop shopping in the 1880s. It was open 24 hours a day for nine years and boarded up for 45 years with everything left inside it like a time capsule. There were 16 gun and knife fights in the building leaving 140 bullet holes throughout the building. The dance hall floor, the stage, the backstage, all the gaming tables, the old piano, original stage curtains still hanging back there. Everything's original in here. Well, you're in a historic district. In order for anybody that owns these buildings to do anything, they have to go before the Restoration Commission and present their plans and show that what they've done is historically correct. And down on the corner, I think it's third in Tufnut, is the county court, what used to be the county courthouse, and it's now a museum. 